Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel AITechmon.com. My name is Sumit and I am here with my new videos in Salesforce Lightning Flows. So, but before we dive into the main topic, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out our future content. In today's video, I will be going to show you that how do we access flow from an Apex class. To know more about flows, what's the functionality of flow, how can we use flow, how do we create flow, or the different uh, different type of flows available, different type of templates available in flows, you can visit my uh, previous recordings, previous topics about flows. I will share the description. I will share the link in the description below. You can access the complete playlist, complete, uh, complete recordings, complete recordings about the flow. <clears throat> so now let's jump into today's discussion. So the idea behind this is that you might have created flows for multiple times. So in today's session, I will be going to show you that how do we pass a parameter from an Apex class to a flow and how do we access a flow using Apex class. So basically, I will be going to create a flow in order to pass a parameter. And based on the input parameter, we just wanted to fetch the account name. That's what my requirement is. So in order to do this, let's first of all let me switch to my salesforce org so here is my salesforce org and, and the requirement here is i will be going to create a flow and from that flow we will be going to pass a parameter into that flow from the apex class and uh, we'll, we will uh, we'll be going to pass the account id and when based on the account id passed to that flow that flow will respond back the account name and that account name will be going to display within an Apex. So how do we do this? So let's see how do we begin this. So first of all, I will be going, we'll start while creating a flow. So I'll uh, navigate back to, I'll just navigate to the setup home and in quick find, I'll look for flows. Click on new flow. So it will launch a flow builder. In this flow builder, I'm going to select the auto launch flow. So I will be going to select this one, auto launch flow, no triggers one, because as you can see, this flow we can access from the invoke by the Apex process or REST API. So this is the flow I'm going to use. And I click on auto launch flow, no trigger. Click on create. We have to give a name to this flow. So, but before save this flow, I just wanted to create a couple of uh, resources. So I'm going to create two resources, one resource to get input and the second resource is to respond back. So I click on new resource and variable, named it as record ID, data type will be text and they're available for input. So this particular variable is going to accept the record ID, which we are going to pass as a parameter from the Apex class. And based on that record ID, we will be going to fetch the account details. So I click on done. The next resource I'm going to create one more variable and I'm going to refer this as, let's say, uh, account name. This is also a text and available for input and output, basically available for both and click on done. So I just created two resources here, one for a record ID, one for account name. So basically in this record ID, we'll pass the parameter from the FX and uh, we'll pass the record ID that will store into this record ID. And uh, based on this record ID, when we retrieve, when we fetch the account name, that account name we store into this account name uh, resource. And this resource will be going to access in our FX class. So now it's time to create a function. So I just use I just use the data operator, the get record. And here I just write, let's say, fetch, uh, I'll label it as fetch, uh, let's say get account. Get, get account details. This could be anything. And I want to fetch the data from account object. Condition, the condition will be based on the ID. This ID will be going to pass as a parameter from the FX and that uh, that value will store into record ID. Only the first record 
and once we pass the parameter it will pass the value and that value we assign to a variable in a separate variable and i just want to assign i just want to fetch the name i want to get the account name and this account name i would like to store into account name resource uh, right now i'm just going to fetch the account name but if you want to fetch more details like account phone and world revenue all those informations we can fetch and store into the variables respectively let me save this flow and the flow name i'll give this flow name as fetch account details fetch account details form save this and activate it so i just activate this flow don't forget to activate this because if you don't activate this this flow will not be accessible from our apex controller class now i'll open my developer console let me open my developer console and in this developer console i will be going to create a new class so let's create a new apex class and the class name is let's say get account apex class that's the name of my class you can give any name in this class i'll just create one function okay in this class i create one function uh, let's say public static void get details now in this we have to write a code in order to get the data so i just write map string comma string comma object params is equals to new map string comma object i need to pass parameters so uh, i need to pass parameters so i just write here params dot put now in this params dot put so as you can see there is one resource called record id okay we have one record id so this record id api name i'm going to use here record id and i'm going to pass one uh, record id here so let's suppose i pass the id for this record grand total and resort this is a record id so i'm going to pass a static id what you can do you can fetch the id you can get the id from the user through any visual force page or through a lightning component lightning web component and then pass that id here now it's time to call the flow so how do we call that flow so flow dot interview dot uh, the flow name my the, the flow name is fetch account details that's the name of my flow so fetch account details let's say uh, get and i label this as get flow is equals to new flow dot i'll copy that is equals to new flow interview get account details and when we call this we are going to pass parameters so i just pass parameters to that and uh, uh, we have to initiate this i just write get flow dot start get flow dot start means we run this flow based on the parameter we run this flow and once the flow run this flow from this when this flow will run it based on the account information it will store the inform it will based on the record id we pass to this flow that uh, the account name will be stored into uh, the account detail will be stored into account name uh, account name uh, resource this account name resource information i will be going to get here so how do i do that i just write a string acc name is equal to is equal to string and get flow dot get variable value and what value the value name the value is the account name so let me open this and this because here the value gets stored into this account name and now i can test it by using system dot debug system dot debug account name is equals to plus acc name that's all so as you can see we don't have any error right now it's all success it's uh, it uh, there will be no error it's all good so now i'm going to test it and uh, in order to test it i'll just open execute anonymous window first of all let me save all one more time and open execute anonymous window class name is because i'm use i have used a static function so in order to call this function dot get details we don't have to pass any parameters i just check open logs and click on execute let's test it you can see the process completed 
and now when we click on debug only the, the flow might be running in backend so let it run so you can see this uh, this uh, this apex class has executed successfully now let's click on debug only and we can see when i say when i click on debug only when i check debug only i can see account name is equal to grant hotel and resort limited and that's the account id we have passed here and the account name is grant hotel and resort limited updated that's the way we can access an apex uh, we can access our lightning flow from an apex class or and also we can pass parameters not only we can pass parameters to a flow but we can get the value of a variable uh, or the resource created in a flow uh, into an apex class and display the output on a apex class that's all in this session that's all in this video if you like this you can post your comment in comment box don't for, uh, you can comment like or share this video keep watching have a nice day goodbye